So the January transfer window is officially open and we have around 60 million euros to spend. The squad is looking good and it's playing really well at the moment, but you guys left loads of suggestions, which we will get to. And we played our last and final game in the Champions League group stage last episode. And we have the round of 16 draw, which you guys don't yet know. I have seen it and I think we've done really well here. The team we have in the round of 16 of the Champions League is... Lille from Ligue 1. Yes, French team Lille. I don't want to disrespect or underestimate Lille, but I think we might be in the quarterfinal. That's a lot of damage. Our rivals in a Milan not really getting as lucky as us. They've got Manchester City. And despite a terrible, terrible start to Serie A, we are getting closer and closer to top. We are nine points away from Juventus. In fact, we have a game in hand. And if we win that game, we find ourselves six points off top. So we are still in a title race, you could say. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. If you're new, subscribe. And the like goal of today's video is 300 likes. If we can hit that, that'd be incredible. And last episode's player of the episode goes to Brahim Diaz had a great episode and hopefully he keeps it up today. We've gone to the press conference and we're going to start with a comment from Senor Taco saying instead of signing Diaz, consider signing Florian Barnes for Cam. No one uses him in career mode and he'd be class around 90 potential. What a player. I haven't used him since like FIFA 20 in fact. He's still in Germany at Leverkusen. He's 18 83 rated. Oh wow this guy would cost a lot of money. Between 86 and 121 million euros. Wow! Our 60 million euros are, you know, not gonna pay for him. Let's just say that. He has some great stats though. I really want to use this guy at some point. He must not be very tall. Five foot nine. Yeah, it's not the tallest, but he's gonna be great. Next comment we're gonna look at is this guy said, I think you shouldn't sign anyone else for Manchester United. Delo would be okay, but anything else is just mad. Of course, we have already signed Marcus Rashford and we've got a Manchester United career mode going on. Most of you guys support United, I'm a United fan. Yeah, I think I think we need a break from these mugs, to be fair. Thank you. This formation right now is working really, really well. We obviously have Calabria, who can play right back, but we play Florenzi, because I feel he's better going forward and he can actually play right wing back. But someone who we could go in for is uh, is Porro. Pedro Porro. Man City, I mean, yeah, as the, just test it out. We can't even approach him because he's on loan from City. They have a good player right there. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes through at City in the next two, three years. But another right back who can play right wing back is Gonzalo Montiel at Sevilla. Argentina, 25. Will be a good player. I think he starts around 80 rated, 79. Got around 84, 85 potential. So he is a good player and would fit our system quite well. Key stats, he's fast. Got good jumping, good stamina. Has he got good crossing at all? No, it doesn't highlight good crossing, but uh, I'm sure he has decent or we could improve it. And the final right back we're going to mention is Fring Pong. He is younger, 21. Right back, can play right wing back. Good player is quick as well. He's got good stamina there. The stats which are highlighted. Starts off around 78, 79 rated, I'm pretty sure. Great player. He would cost around 35 million euros. So that is a lot of money on a right back. With Arnold saying in January, you should loan out Maldini. He's 19 and he has a lot of potential. This poor lad just has a good name. Like, he's, he's 20. I checked and he has like 80 potential, 79. But as you can see, I will put him out on loan. And there's also someone else who I want to put out on loan. Garo, uh, future prospect, young prospect, 18. He's currently got a development plan to change position. Uh, we're not going to change it because he grows quicker if we just do this. And we have a comment here saying, Brahim is not really shining because a lot of your build-up play is from the left and the right with your wing backs and obviously Rashford and Leal. But if I were to play more through the middle, I'd get the most out of Brahim. And I do agree with that. He's had a good season so far. 21 games, four goals, eight assists. That that is good and we have completed his seasonal objective which is to get eight assists by january i'm pretty sure we have so we can sign him next season if we didn't do that we wouldn't be able to sign him at all but i don't think he's a player who we would be going in for now and i get the vibe a lot of you guys want me to go for other players anyway and we have oscar saying you should make rashford and leal strikers but don't convert them both when completed because as as Garo, the young prospects they grow more so we will do that how long would it take 
take for Rashford? It would take 12 weeks. Oh, dear me. And then with Liao, probably the same. 13 weeks. Yeah, we'll just put them on that. Let me know in the comments if that actually is beneficial. 13 weeks instead of just having them on a development plan. They do play striker, so it would make sense. We didn't really play him, but it's annoying that Chelsea did recall Bakioko. 76 rated. But at some point, we may have to go in for another midfielder. That 2017, that 2016-17 Champions League Monaco squad was incredible. And this guy was really, really good. Honestly, incredible. And he's just one of the players who just didn't make it. Bernardo Silva, you had Fabinho, Kylian Mbappe. I, if you guys are too young, that squad was incredible. There's another player I do actually want to look at. This winger, I'm not even going to attempt to say his name. I want to try and make him a cam. How long would it take? 26 weeks. Instead of signing a backup cam, we do play this guy now and then as a rotation. Some of the strikers can actually play there as well. So I guess there is no point converting him. It's going to take 26 weeks, annoyingly. So we obviously play five at the back or three at the back. Three center backs and we need to rotate because they get tight. And we only have Gabia. As you can see, 71 rated, not great. And after him, we have this guy, Danga, 62 rated. So so not great. You guys mentioned me going in for, uh, for this guy. Aya, however you say his name, 14 to 20 million euros. Has around 83 potential. Would be good. Would be a very good signing. But another great centre-back option would be a Kanji. His contract's running out come end of the year. We could get him for around 35 million. It is our priority signing in the January window, so we could just spend most of our budget on him. Would be great. Would be a really, really good player at the back. We're solid defensively at the moment anyway. This guy would take us to the next level. He doesn't really play much at Liverpool. He's around 80 rated. Good, like, 85 potential. He's very quick, but Joe Gomez could be an option. And we've never used him in career mode yet. But LaCroix, OP center back, we could potentially go in for him. Starts off around 79 rated. Has some insane potential of like 87. Really, really quick. He starts off at 77 rated. It's an 85 potential. Was he better last year or has he had a downgrade or something? Oh, he's got 93 sprint speed, 85 acceleration. That's incredible. But I think we're going to save him for another career mode. But we're actually just going to go in for Fringpom. This is going to surprise you guys. I have had this still lined up since I pressed record. This is what I've wanted to do. Calabria. Now, Fringpom is worth 26 million euros. The Calabria plus 10 million? What, what are they going to say? That 15.8. So they really do want to do this. Yeah, I mean, they're getting a decent player. 12 and a half. 15. I reckon we could get this to 14. Yeah, what are they saying? That's a good deal. He would be incredible in this system. I know Thingy is on loan. Florenzi. And at the end of the season, he will be going. Or there's always a possibility that they get recalled. Especially now he's not going to be playing. But we do have a backup like 74 rated right back. So so we are covered. 50k, 100k signing on bonus. Bring Punk, welcome to Milan. I feel very good. This is one of them signings, which just really gets you excited about it. Convert him to a right wing back. Get him converted. Number six, absolutely not. A number 12 will do for Fring Punk. Whilst we're at it, we'll convert Florenzi to a right wing back. This other backup, 34 weeks. Okay, we won't be doing that. He actually is showing great potential. So he is decent. And Theo Hernandez, two weeks. If we just do this, I feel it will work better. He's 87 rated. Incredible. And look at these stats. Four goals, seven assists. Halfway through the season, as a left wing back, he's doing really good. So we have 43 million remaining. And I feel we just go in for a Kanji, to be fair. Let's see how low we can get this. Because you can, when the contract's expiring, normally get them lower than valuation. 34 million. 3 million lower? They say yes. I feel this is a, a must do. He's 26. He's just really, really quick. He would replace Kaya as he is 33. 80k a week, 150k signing on bonus. What a signing we just made there. <laughs> Is number two. Get a development plan on him. Up that week for we are ready for business. To be fair, Botman is slower than Kaya. So we'll just put Botman on the bench. We'll put him in the middle, in fact. We'll put him in the middle because his uh is not left footed. Or doesn't have a five-star week for what a signing. We're gonna sim this game against 14th in the league, Sampdoria. Full strength side. We've got two new signings playing. We don't, we actually don't. Let's let's slot him in there. Fring Pong. There we go. Come on, Milan. Let's get a win. Let's get an 
nice win. A 3-2 win. A catchy with a goal. Get it. KO with two yellows. That's frustrating. Good job we have depth in that position now. Liao and Brahim. We have eighth in the league now. Belongia. Will it just fix it itself with the center back issue? Who are they going to play? It's a, it's a draw. Who did they play? Of course they did. Of course they did. This game is awful. Of course they played Adley at centre back. So, so you know, let's, let's not take a piss here. And left Botman on the bench. This game, what on earth is that? Liao and Rashford have the goal. Well, you shouldn't be drawing that. Honestly, I should have changed it myself. I knew that would happen. And there we go. Uh, and, and there we go. Well, what? Well. This, this game is incredible. Florenzi recalled by Roma. Why? Because he missed two games. We didn't play him for two games. Lack of playing time. Ridiculous, that is. Banasar is out for three months. You're kidding me. You're actually having a laugh. Three months he's out for. Arsenal can go do one. I mean, that's quite a lot of money for a 32-year-old. Actually having a laugh. Now we're playing Adley, you stupid game. He can't even play center back. Negative 10. I don't, I don't get it. Can we try and get him back on loan? Stupid. It's stupid. So we've got a cup game and we can barely rotate right now. Barely rotate. If we get any more injuries, we're probably in trouble with this season and squad. 2-0 no wins. Latin with the goal and Tenale. 19th from the league. Empley. If we don't get a win in this game, so disappointing. Point. We're going to play Greenwich because he actually has a uh, a positive boost rating. It's a 4 1 win. Get in. Theo with the goal. Liao, Greenwich, and Liao. Vamos! The bloody Burnley have came in for Gallo. We'll accept it. It's two years. We may need to recall him at some point if we get more injuries. Get that. He has actually rejected that. I mean, why would he want to go to the Burnley? Maldini has been loaned out, though. Theo Hernandez is now 88 rated because he is a wing back. Vamos. Get in. And Fring. Pong as well is 80 rated now. We have eighth in the league Roma now. We did play them a couple of episodes back and smash them. We are going to sim sim this game. And we win 2-1 getting Rashford and Fernandez. What a win that is. We have a short term loan from Vonsberg here. We will accept that. And we have a big game in the Coppa Italia now. Quarter final against Bologna. That's a 2-1 win against them. Kronic and Brahim with the goals. That is a massive win. Don't worry, we will be playing like four games in today's episode. Gallo has been loaned out to Wolfsburg. And West Ham coming in for this striker. 3.6 million. I'll accept it. Is he a wonder kid I don't know about? And this is one of them games. Juventus in the league. They are top right now. 53 points. So if we want any chance of staying in this title race or getting anywhere near it, then we're going to want to win this game. We've got to rotate. We can't play with Fringpon. That's so annoying. That guy's going to come into the team. We now have a positive rating for Adler. And it's a 4-3-3. Chiesa, Morata, Dybala, Locatelli, Rabio, Zakaria, Delic, Ramaldo. They've improved that team a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. I'm just going to slip that out wide to Thur Hernandez. Now on to his right. What a play he's been so far. Back to Adley. Shooting opportunity. Absolutely not. Back to Adley. In a bit of a uh, sticky situation here. It's Brahim. Pull that back. We've got Adley in the box. Take a touch to hit one. That's the goal. That's the opener. It's 1 0. Great build up. Not many options, but we finally get the opening. We find the opportunity and we take it. Oh, well done there. Brilliant stuff. We can slip that to Liao. Now Rashford. Rashford for two. It's Get in! We are smashing them here. Leal with the assist. Rashford with the goal on his left foot. We may have to up the sliders even more. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, he's back here with it. Oh, what a save, Maynard. What a save that was. Getting into some good space. Not really a shooting opportunity. Going to hit it from here, though. Forced a good save. Oh, that's a ball in behind. Good opportunity for Morata. Oh, what a tackle. Kea. Oh, great tackle there. Masek at the back. Here's Liao. He's going to go all the way himself. No, rebound. Rashford, header. Punched away. Why didn't I pass it, man? Why didn't I pass it? Dybala coming forward. Oh, no. That's a goal back. Yep, there we go. Clean sheet gone. They're back in it. Murata with the goal. Oh, it's Chiesa, number 22. You can't really see with the, the font on the back of their shirt with this mod. Ooh, dangerous. There's a rebound here. Rabio. good block. We get that away. Well done. Adley, Ibrahim, out in behind. To Theo Hernandez. Whipped in. Great cross. Oh, really good defense there. Couple of subs coming on now. Fring, Fring Prong and uh, Adiemi. Murata finds Kayser on the ball. We want the three points here. Point would not be good enough. Oh, Fring Prong. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, wow. That is great. 
Adiemi, chip that up. Liao, chip nope. that. Keepers. Oh, damn mate. It's Kaya's from the box. Kaya didn't get the tackle. Oh, you're kidding me. We've gone and got a point. We've gone and dropped two points in the last kick of the game. You're actually kidding me. That is awful. What on earth is that? And that's it. Whistleblown. I am furious at that. No, no, no. No, no, no. I mean, the game's crashed. <laughs> the game just crashed. I mean, even if it didn't save, we have we have to sit it until we lose, which probably would only take one attempt. Okay, that game did not count, apparently. Uh, so we're just going to have to sim it. I'm not even going to rotate Fring Park. Uh, no, we, we we can't be winning. There's me lining up like we, like we need to win. I mean, if we win this now, it would be typical, wouldn't it? And we have to do it again. Of course. Of course. We might be here for days because we specifically need a draw. 3-2 win. Come on. I want a draw, not a win. Yes, get in. That took five minutes, that did. 2-2 draw. Rashford, Rashford. Murata and Locatelli. There we go. So at deadline day, we made two signings, Spring Pong and Akanji. I'm pretty sure we were only allowed to make two or three in the summer. And I said it would be the same for January. If it's two, got that right. If it's three, we'd have one more left, which we have 12 million. So we can't really do much there. I was thinking of bringing in someone like Madic because the central midfield issue of the injury, but there's no point. There really is not. We have Verona now in the league. They're 12. Now, one thing about this league is I do like the amount of games you can sit. Should be a win. It's a draw. It, it, it's another draw. Rashford and Rashford. I mean, Rashford's scoring a lot of goals, but you can't be drawing that. Our title race is like watching United try and get top four. Rashford is now a striker. We'll make him a mobile striker. In fact, no, complete. Up that finishing. Semi-final, Coppa Italia. We have Adelana. Yeah, we can't sim it. We want to win a trophy this year as well. We are rotating a fair bit, but these players are still on the bench, so we're fine. They do have a good team. Coop Miners. Yeah, they, they do have a good team, Adelana. But we should be fine. Fine here. Oh, here come Adelana early on. Number 33. He's doing well. Come on. No, 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 no. You cannot concede a goal like that. That was so bad. That was so embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. That is awful. Literally like 20 defenders around and we still let it go in. That is so bad. He's got the speed for Punk coming down the right. Just get in the box. Slatan, you lazy donkey piece. Why on earth are you in that position? Flick that up to him. I mean, hello. Slap. What, what was that? I prefer really not to um, not to speak. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Flicked it up. Could have been two. Could have been two. 15 minutes in. Over the top. Another opportunity. Nice defending there. Still. Still. What? The defending is so hard. You can, it's like we don't have enough control of them in this game. They just do their own thing. How do you mean? Now I've got this cam. Slip that to this guy. Pull that back. Go into that bit of space. Yes. Thur Hernandez. Still Thur Hernandez. This guy. Blocked. Rebound. Get it. 1-1. One, one. Before half time. Really lucky that. Really, oh, we've got a fancy replay. Adelana have been great. So glad we scored that. Here's Adelana. Come on. Organize yourself. He's through. He shouldn't be hitting. Oh, you're actually kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Posting in. I thought there's no chance. There's no chance. Near post. Smashed it in. Oh, here they. Number three. Oh, we've just been smashed. We've just been destroyed by Adelana. I think maybe up in the sliders when we went 2-0 up against Juventus was a um not a decision I should have made. Okay, good tackle. We've got Rashford, Liao, and Brahim on now. So we have some competency coming forward. Out wide to Hernandez. Okay, this is good. Rashford's in a nice position. Pull that back though. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that from Fernand Hernandez. Get in! We're back in it! I just really don't want to go out in this competition. We need Cristiano from the United. Oh, look at that run from Rashford. Look at that run from Rashford. Keeper got there. Just one last opportunity. Just come on. Don't do all this passing crap. And then one extra minute. You, you, we've had five goals. One extra minute. Oh, f off. Get going. F one extra minute. We've had five goals. What is this?
We've just been destroyed by Adelana. They're absolutely destroyed. Well done to them. They're in the final. We absolutely bundled it against Juventus. We completely bundled it in the last game. I rotated far too much. And now we have the Milan Derby again. This is a game we cannot lose. We're at home and in the league. We need points. We need points. This is how we're lining up. Only one rotation. That's Botman or the new guy we signed. And uh, that's an interesting kit that we're Great team from them. You guys know it. It's Fring Punk coming forward. Good opportunity early on. Really good opportunity. Can he get his first assist? Smash it in the boss. Good defense. We can keep this up, though. Good header. Adley. It's going to wind one up. Blocked. Keep the ball. It's what we love to see. Fring Punk. Get him out wide. Keep it in. No. Good start, though. Is Braham coming forward? Got good options. Slip that to Liao. Good touch from this angle. Good save, Handanovic. Here's Martinez. Come on, Tanali. Come on, Tanali. Amori. I mean, what a tackle. Best defender I've used in this game, I'd say. I'll have to ball him in behind. Is Martinez. Good. Good block there. Well, a player who has not played well. Well, two players who have not played well in this game are Adley and Brahim. They have not been doing well in midfield, and we need to get a hold of this midfield. Nice build-up play. Good defense. Don't let him slip through. Get in. I've actually made a sub. I've brought on Kronich for Adley because it's so important that we, as I say, get a hold of this midfield. Oh, no, that's not good. That's a mistake at the back. Martinez. Come on, 24. Get a tackle in. Pulling it back. Need to make a tackle. Well done. Good stuff there. And passed away beautifully. Build-up play. Good. Now here's Brahim. That's awful. That's awful. Oh, they've passed it to us. Here's Tenali. He's through and goal. It's a Stevie G moment. Get in. It's an incredible finish from Tenali. Top corner. It's 1-0. We've fought hard for this. Brahim. Beautiful. Finally made a pass. Kronich. I mean, Brahim's going out wide again. Brilliant. And our header that in the box would have been nice. Now, here come in a Milan. I don't know what enough. I don't know what Tamori's doing. As I said, I don't feel you have any control of these defenders in this game. I go to him and he's trying to pull away. I want to go that direction. He's like, I want to go this direction. Look at this. Look, 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 look. He's locked. It took ages for him to wake up. I don't get it. Oh, f off. Final five minutes here. He's just gone straight past Fring Punk. I've came out with Tamori. Good position for Martinez. Head in a mode. Almost effed it there. Oh, what a save. What a save. Crossed in. Goalkeeper all over it. Yes, go. Hit them. Hit them. Good opportunity. Rashford, come on. Here's Marcus Rashford. He's got the speed. He's against one defender. He's against one. Oh, two. Still Rashford. Hit it. No. triggered actually actually triggered about that i thought that was one defender and then all of a sudden they've got loads back i don't know why i have to go and make the sliders just insane when we go two nil up against your venice i mean 52 sprint speed acceleration i mean come on have have a laugh have a laugh so we have lil next in the round of 16 if you guys have enjoyed like subscribe if you haven't turn the bell on and in the top left of your screen is a video that youtube recommends you watch thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video